Bashar al Halabi is a political analyst, and he joins us now live from Istanbul to talk more about the situation in Lebanon. I mean, why do you think uh, Mustafa Adib qualifies as prime minister, or doesn't qualify, rather? Um, good evening, uh, madam. Uh, actually, you said it. Uh, Mustafa Adib definitely doesn't qualify as a prime minister. However, uh, as the world knows by now, um, there are no standards or requirements for this position or any other uh, position in, in the public sphere in Lebanon, for that matter, besides you belonging to a certain sect that has a political influence and that should be represented according to the confessional power sharing arrangement in the country. Unfortunately, uh, Mr. Adib is, is part of the establishment. He was awarded uh, his uh, position as an ambassador to, uh, of Lebanon to Germany. He was not part of the diplomatic sphere. He did not uh, enroll in any of the diplomatic uh, requirement uh, uh, programs uh, that would uh, allow him uh, to, to uh, become a, eventually an ambassador. And he is simply right now uh, the byproduct of two things. First of all, French uh, pressure on the Lebanese sectarian uh, warlords and uh, sectarian elites running the country in addition to their need to uh, basically get over the uh, what happened uh, on August 4th, uh, and I'm referring to the massive explosion that rocked the heart of the city. Uh, they need to move forward. They need to find a solution. And this is uh, what, what they were left with. Um, definitely, the, Prime Minister Adib, uh, uh, I think that uh, he will be destined uh, for failure, and he does not reflect any of uh, the the um, aspirations of the Lebanese people okay. in general, and not only the protesters in the streets. Right. Bashar, then who would not be destined for failure that could actually then qualify for at least the position of prime minister designate, designate at this point? The, the issue, a hundred years actually following the uh, formation of uh, Lebanon as a republic, uh, by the hand, on the hands of, uh, or by French support back then in 1920, uh, this uh, confessional system uh, has has eventually hit a, a roadblock or, or more uh, has hit a wall and the power system in place uh, is definitely um, un, uh, uh, unyielding of any kind of transformation or reform uh, that it can that can be achieved in order to move the country forward uh, uh, away from the status quo and the uh, bickering, the political bickering that has mired the political life since the assassination of Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri in 2005. This system is dying. It's decaying. What right. needs to be done is to move towards a new political system, a secular state, uh, away from confessional We understand that, but who? I'm asking again, yes. who are the people? Do you have anyone, any names of the people that can take you toward that secular state that you desire? The, the, two things need to be done. First of all, the, the movements or the groups that, that emanated from the uh, protest movement of October 17 are starting to uh, organize. They're starting to come, uh, come together and form an opposition, uh, uh, for, uh, like an opposition umbrella for people to come under. And another thing needs to be done. The international community should consider weakening should consider weakening the uh, uh, current sectarian ruling elite through imposing sanctions on them in order to pressure them uh, to accept certain compromise and move forward towards a, a new system in place that reflects what the youth of Lebanon has been okay. calling for for the past years. Okay, I just have a minute left with you, so I need to ask you, I mean, President Macron is, is arriving again tonight to try and deliver whatever help he can in mediating this crisis, but do you think France's help is actually welcome? You even cited that it was a, a French construction. This, this government that has failed you now is in part the responsibility of France. So do you want uh, players like President Macron coming to help sort out the problems there now? I think we've had enough with international meddling in the sense of trying to prop up the sectarian ruling elite through lending them a lifeline, as, for example, Francis Macron is doing right now, and as previously was done by other uh, rulers, whether in the Gulf or, uh, or elsewhere. So it's time for the international community to also reconsider its approach to solving uh, crises in Lebanon and I don't think President Macron's initiative right now to prop up the current sectarian ruling elite, including Hezbollah, the terrorist organization, is very welcomed on the streets in Beirut.
Bachar al-Halabi, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your analysis with us.